What's up fam, this is your girl Amanda and I'm coming back to y'all with Amanda Vlog. So let's talk Usher Raymond. And before I get into this video, I made a video yesterday about Usher Raymond. And in the first few seconds of the video, I said Usher. And if you paid attention to the rest of the video, I was referring to him as Usher. And it was a lot of politically correct motherfuckers commenting under my post, calling me bitches, calling me dumb and stupid. His name is Usher and not Usher. Now, if you were true Usher fans, then you would know that in several of his songs, he referred to himself as Usher. So thank you for the people who actually had my back and said that that's how he actually pronounced his name in several of his songs. Thank you for those people that actually had my back. Anyway, let's continue this video. So, y'all, I was on the internet minding my own business, honey, when I came upon Famous website, y'all. And so, I see where another female has hit Usher with a lawsuit, y'all. I was like, damn, again? Another female? She is suing Usher for $10 million. Damn, Usher giving out her piece like they give out fans at church. But anyway... On to the article. Okay, the article said Usher had sex with a woman earlier this year who had no idea he was exposing her to herpes. According to the suit filed by Jane Doe, they did not give her name. She and Usher hooked up in Atlanta on April 16th at her home. And I'm guessing that this is this year. And he is married, okay? She says there was some heavy petting, some kissing, and she performed oral sex on him. They eventually had intercourse, and she says he wore a condom. However, in the docs, she says they had sex again 12 days later, this time in a New Orleans hotel room, and they did not use a condom. Cut to this month when Jane Doe says she read news reports about Usher admitting in docs connected to an earlier legal case that he had herpes. And the person he infected with herpes was actually his ex-wife, Tamika's friend and bridesmaid at their wedding. So yes, y'all, trifling as ever, Usher hooked up with one of Tamika's friends and had sex with her and then gave her herpes and then she's the one who sued him for a million dollars but you know when karma come back and kick you in the ass this is what happened because they were both trifling but anyway as i digress with this article in the new suit the woman does not say she's infected she says she is concerned because she was exposed and says she wouldn't have had sex with usher if he disclosed he has the virus she's suing usher for negligence battery and emotional distress and is seeking at least 10 million in damages we've reached out to usher's rep but hadn't heard back yet and y'all, this situation is a hot, shitty ass mess. Usher is giving out diseases left and fucking right. And like I said in my other video, everyone should be making sure that a condom is worn. And if you don't wear a condom, then you have to face the consequences. Who told this lady to have sex, unprotected sex, with a married man knowing damn well he was married and we all know that even if you wear a condom sometimes with herpes you still can contract it especially if it is um skin to skin contact if they are um in the outbreak stage and even if the person doesn't have any symptoms you still can contract it even with a condom but if a condom was worn, it will lower your risk, especially for females. It will lower your risk of getting herpes and contracting herpes. So these women over here letting Usher running them raw like he's invincible and like he can't contract diseases. Because we all know people in Hollyweird, they jump from dingling to dingling and coochie to coochie. And I'm sure they spread diseases like wildfire. And so not only these women, but also Usher should have been more responsible and should have worn a condom. 
But like I said in my video, Usher should have been telling these females, listen, I got herpes. And, you know, if you want to continue to have sex, that's on you. If not, then keep it moving. Now, he was wrong for that. But at the end of the day, it is everyone's responsibility to make sure that a condom is worn. Strap up, okay? Condoms don't cost that much, okay? It do, they do not cost that much. You can go to Walmart, you can go to Target, you can go to Walgreens, whatever store they have them. They're not that much, and so why no condom was being worn, I have no clue. Oh wait, I do. These females were stupid. So was Usher. But sometimes when a female has sex with a celebrity, they are trying to either trap them or do something of that nature. Either try to get pregnant, but in their case, honey, they got burned. is a damn shame because just because you are a celebrity does not mean that you are not susceptible to diseases because everyone is susceptible to diseases i don't give a damn how much money you got okay i don't care look at magic johnson so i believe that it may be several more females that come out and say listen i got herpes from usher it would not surprise me if several other females come out and actually say this. But not only that, Usher cheating on his wife, his now wife. Because this just happened back in April of this year that he gave, he supposedly gave his female herpes. So all the way around, this whole situation is a hot ass mess. He is giving out diseases like he is giving out lollipops to little kids and it's quite ridiculous and i'm also curious about the wife does the wife even well she she know now but did she know that he had herpes when they got married i'm just so curious to know whether she knew that or not so what are y'all thoughts about this whole situation with usher giving out diseases like how he's doing it's quite crazy but it is a lot. When I say it is a lot of people who are infected with the herpes virus, that it is it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's really unbelievable how many people have the herpes virus. And most of the people probably do not know. Because if you don't take a blood test to get uh, tested, then you probably won't know. And a lot of people do not have symptoms. They do not have breakouts. And so the only way you would have to know is if you get a blood test, just like how you get a blood test for HIV. You got to get it for herpes. And so that's why people need to get tested every six months because it ain't safe out there in them streets. It ain't safe out there in them streets, y'all, because you, you'll get infected. And it's, it's, it's crazy how many people got diseases. It's really crazy, really, really crazy. So what do y'all think about this whole situation, y'all? Y'all know what y'all got to do. Y'all comment down below and let me know your thoughts. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that button and subscribe. And make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video. Alrighty, bye.